Today is day nine in our breeding cycle. So this morning, Eric's dad came out and checked on the heifers. We had nine tag or nine uh, heat patches that had changed overnight. So last night there were none. This morning there were nine. So here it is, uh, Wednesday afternoon. We're getting ready to set up and do our first round of breeding. So here are all the heifers. If you look real close, you can see some of the patches are orange. We've seen a few that we're riding. So we're gonna get those nine out from this morning. There may have been some that have changed since. If anything changed since nine this morning, that'll be put down to breed first thing in the morning. So we're getting the girls in the barn. We're just calling them all in here. Once we get them in, we can go through and sort them, see which ones have turned, which ones haven't and then which ones have turned since this morning. And then go ahead and start doing some breeding. For the semen for these heifers, we've uh, selected Gar Momentums from the Gardner Angus Ranch. Uh, it's supposed to be a real good heifer bull, so we're excited to be adding those genetics to our herd and uh, looking forward to seeing what kind of calves we can get from that semen. We've gotten our first group sorted out. So these are what will be bred first day, round one. They're kind of far away, but you can see the orange tags. So we're getting everything set up. Um, we've got us the table set up. We've got our lube, gloves. These are our AI guns. We've got our semen tank. It's got all the semen in here. It's down there in the liquid nitrogen. So when we get ready, we'll pull a straw out. Uh, we've got our power set up so we can have our thaw unit. Uh, we have to thaw out each straw of semen before we put it in. So we're getting everything set up. We should be breeding here in just a minute. Good, Eric's about to get the semen ready. All right, we've got our thaw unit ready. I'm gonna draw a straw out I'm on the bottom side of this bottom goblet. Drawing out the first one. You want to make sure you have a frost line down in there. You want to make sure not to ever bring those straws above that frost line. The first goblet, as they call it, is out of it. Just so going to try to grab a straw. When you grab it, let your other one out go as fast as you can. We'll start your timer, 45 seconds. So this is our thaw unit. So the water in there is heated. It's going to thaw out that straw. You get a paper towel, fold it one way and back the other. First you want to warm your gun. Keep it warm, at least body temperature. When the timer goes off, I like to give it a simple shape, make sure that everything's down to one end. The main thing you want to get it dry is water will kill semen faster than anything. It's called a seto cutter. Pull that out, cut the end off. Take one of our sheaths. Put it in the sheath, it'll lock in that plastic piece. When you get it to that point, pull your plunger back, insert it into your gun. This is a new Astrotech gun, so it will lock. Right there it locked. And then you wanna push your plunger up a little bit just to get, you see that seam and get right to the end. That way it won't draw any fluid up in the end of your gun. When you put your gun in, inside your shirt and keep it at body temperature. Keep it warm. Got that. We got the map. Alright, make sure to clean off. Over. 
in the insert of a 30 degree. Go in, flatten off. And all I'm doing now is following my gun with my left hand till I find where it hits the surface. On the cervix. It's a real, it's a rough surface, almost comparable to a cauliflower. So then I've got the cervix in my left hand and I just want to manipulate it over the gun. So just get it in the cervix. Then you move the cervix to manipulate it. There's usually three rings in the cervix. So it's past the cervix. I put my left index finger to feel the gun go through the cervix, and then you want to count to 10. Slowly deposit the semen, roughly a droplet at a time. You don't want to go too far to put it in a uterine horn because if the egg's not in that horn, she won't breed or possibility she won't. So that's good. Fill the rings as she comes out. Nine months, we should know. Our way of one of breeding is done. This is our breeding man here. So he bred nine of them today. Uh, we're gonna ride back out through. We've written down so far, we know there are nine on the schedule to breed in the morning. We're gonna see if anything's changed in the last two hours. We've been here working with them. So we're just out here in the pasture going through and checking on them. So we've gone back through and for our second wave of breeding, looks like we're gonna have 13. So it's gonna be a busy morning tomorrow, but it's always a good sign seeing this mini come into heat. So we'll be starting back early in the morning. We just finished our morning breeding, so it's the morning of day 11. We had 13 that we ran through. Eric bred all those to the uh, Gar Momentum Bull. So we've got four for sure that need to be bred this evening. We're going to check them right now, see if anything's changed from when we uh, sorted them this morning. So we'll go see four, possibly five, hopefully a few more, but uh, that'll get us up in the 25 to 26 range, which is pretty good numbers. So uh, we'll come back this evening, breed those. That'll probably be the last time we check them. There may or may not be anything else that has changed in between this afternoon. Uh, everything else may end up getting bred by the cleanup bull. We're back at it. It's uh, the afternoon of the 11th day. So we've got five that are ready to breed. So we're going to start getting gates situated, get them brought around to the barn and get to breeding.
Our third wave of breeding is complete. We've got five more bred. So we bred nine, 13, and then five. There's pretty good odds. Um, we're gonna check them again tonight, right before the sun goes down, and just see if there's one or two that changes. We'll come back over here tomorrow morning, Friday morning, and go ahead and breed them. If nothing else changes, we're putting the cleanup bull in tomorrow. We've got an Angus bull, so we'll be putting him in here to clean up and uh, breed anything that didn't take to the AI. But uh, hopefully we'll get some good results, and uh, we'll be pregnancy testing these in probably uh, 60 to 90 days, something like that, and uh, hopefully we'll have some real good results from it. But looking forward to uh, introducing this Gar Momentum Bull to our herd. And uh, there are several different uh, ways you can set them up, but this is the one that we like. Uh, cedars go in day one, come out day seven, then you start breeding a couple days later. Hope you've enjoyed our breeding video. Uh, we'll see you on the next video.